Hey y'all, it is Magnolia Money, and today I'm going to show you guys how to do the 927 plus 1 method. If you're new to the channel, thank you for stopping by. Be sure to hit subscribe and give a thumbs up on the video. Your state may call this Cash 3, Pick 3, Daily 3, or a numbers game. And we're going to get started here. What you want to do on this particular method is you're going to create this particular rundown. Now, to do that, you have to write 927 at the top of your page, and then you're going to add one all the way down. All right, so 9, 10, you see that you would have a zero, that would be 11. You only keep what's on the right-hand side, that would be a one. All right, so two plus one is three, three plus one is four. You're gonna continue this pattern until you get all the way back down to the nine. You stop at whatever number you start with. So the next column would be two. You start with a two, you're gonna add one all the way until you get back to the two. Same on the third column, seven plus one is eight, eight plus one is nine. You're gonna continue that all the way down until you get back to the seven. So then you have your full method written down there, 927, from top to bottom. All right, so this would always be the same every day. So it would always look like this right here. These numbers would always be the same. What changes, however, is what your date sum is. So the next thing you want to do is highlight your date sum. So you're looking for the number that's going to be drawn on the following day or the following draw, which would be, in this case, we're looking for on 324. What you do to get your date sum is add your month plus your date. All right, so you take the month and you add you add that plus four. All right, so three plus four, because I only used what's on the right-hand side. So three plus four is seven. What I do then is highlight all of my sevens on this method here. All right, once you have those highlighted, that is your starting point. That is the first place you want to look at for your following night's winning number, because it's going to either use or touch that seven. All right, so the next thing you want to do is box off your previous night's winning numbers complete sum. All right, so here we have 891 that fell the night before. Mississippi is a one-draw state. This does work for multi-draw states. You just have to go from draw to draw. All right, so this particular one, like I said, for the previous night was 891. So we add 8 plus 9 plus 1. All right, so 17 plus 1, you come out with 18. Now, we want to get this down to a single digit because we can't just go over here and highlight all of the 1s and 8s. So we want to add 1 plus 8. That gives us 9. That's our single digit. All right, so then we're going to box those off. That is our second point to where we want to reference for our following night's winning numbers. All right, so once you have that done, that is where you start looking around and seeing what uses or what touches both or one or the other of those numbers. All right, so as you can see here, our following night's winning number here for Mississippi was 713. So just to show you guys, I went ahead and circled 731. You see here, it touches both of the nines and it actually uses the date sum. So you can see how it touches and uses all of these that are marked. All right, and if you come down, you find the next seven and you will see that it is 173 right here. You will see that that number is played here and it plays in this pattern right here. All right, so it also touches the nine and it touches that seven. All right, so then you're gonna go down here and you're gonna look. And if you're familiar with what mirrors are, then you will see that the mirror plays as well. All right, so 713, if that three is mirrored, that would be 718. And as you can see, there is the 718, which uses the seven, it touches the nine here. It touches and actually uses this 7, 1, 8, see? And that 8 would be the mirror to a 3. All right, so again, you guys, you're just going to look around and see what is used most commonly. You're going to use this reference or these, these methods here, this particular one, with whatever other method you currently are using. You will take, if you find a number here that you like, say, for instance, you did like the 173 for this particular one, you would cross-reference that with whatever other method you are or you're using, grids, tic-tac-toes, anything to that effect. Now, I appreciate you guys stopping in. I hope this video helps. It's real short. You guys be sure to give a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already, and if you have any questions, feel free to reach out, and I will see you guys soon. Later, y'all.